step, I sealed my eyebrows with a glue stick and some concealer, and then I applied white face paint all over the lower two thirds of my face and down my neck, and gray face paint onto my forehead, and I basically blended that out. Next, I outlined the dark areas of my reference photo here as a wolf, and kind of used it as my guide to apply white face paint and black into all the necessary areas around my face and temples. Then I basically used a very fine tipped brush and I slowly added the areas that I wanted to darken. So I basically did like a very strong like wing eyeliner around my eyes and used brush like strokes uh, around my face and my forehead just to really darken those areas much like in the picture. And as I went into this, I decided to contour my face and neck with the fur-like strokes. So that's why I kind of took it into the hollows of my cheeks and down my neck on my collarbones and onto my nose. By darkening the bridge of my nose, I kind of made it more menacing. And then as you can see, I just added more strokes all around the face and drew out the nose and enhanced some more white areas and shaped out my lips to really make like a small wolf-like mouth. I shaped the mouth by really dragging out the corners outwards a little bit more to follow the shape of the mouth in the image, in the wolf image. I threw on some white out contacts and some fangs to really make this wolf look menacing. If you guys enjoyed my Western Werewolf, don't forget to hit the like button as well as subscribe. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!